You never get bored with Brexit. On the 24th of December 2020, the EU and the UK made us all a great Christmas present. An agreement in principle on a free trade treaty between the EU and the UK. This agreement is already in place, but in a provisional way, it still needs to be ratified by the European Parliament. Without a free trade agreement, usually referred as FTA, we would be in a very difficult situation with trade between the two regions seriously hindered. How to enjoy the FTA? Not all products will enjoy the free trade agreement. It applies only to products originating from Europe or the United Kingdom. A product is originating from the EU or the United Kingdom only when it's wholly obtained from these territories. It's the case of livestock from the UK or uh, corn harvested in Europe. Alternatively, it originates from the European Union or the UK when it's made with raw materials coming from other territories but subject to a substantial transformation. The Free Trade Agreement indicates when there is a substantial transformation. It is the case, for instance, of an Italian suit made with cotton from non-European countries. What is the proof of origin? Traders wishing to enjoy the free trade agreement need to prove that the products are originating from Europe or the UK. For businesses wishing to enjoy the free trade agreement, they need to claim preference in the customs documentation and declare the old proof of origin. This can be done either with a statement of origin included in the commercial invoice or by knowledge of importer claiming that they know the products have a preferential origin. For B2C parcels, most likely the statement of origin will be included in the commercial invoice. If you trade products both from a third party, you will need to collect a supplier's declaration in order to prove the origin of the products. The supplier's declaration can be issued for a single shipment or for multiple shipments up to 24 months. It can also hold a retroactive effect, but up to a period of 12 months. For a full 2021, suppliers will be exempted from collecting a supplier's declaration, but they may be retrospectively asked to provide such evidence later on. There are also simplifications for the small consignments. For a small consignment of non-commercial nature imported to Europe up to a value of 500 euros, there is a way lever to provide a formal proof of origin. In the UK, the threshold is set at 1,000 pounds and it concerns both commercial and non-commercial shipments alike. What happens with VAT? The free trade agreement doesn't concern VAT. VAT will always apply at the border because the UK has removed the low value relief for VAT from the 1st of January and the European Union will do the same from the 1st of July. VAT will apply at the border. The UK has introduced a new system called Postpone VAT Accounting whereby UK VAT registered businesses will be able to avoid VAT importation by means of a reverse charge mechanism. Have you tried to ship parcels from or to the UK in 2021? I would be happy to hear your experience. If you have any comment or questions, please feel free to write them below this video. Bye bye for now. Ciao!